Hello everyone, thank you for watching this video in which I will answer to one of the last questions I've got and um, this is a question from Yonuts who says that even if the configuration annotation is not specified here still the application is working why is this happening and this is a really 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 good question from multiple points of view and one of the points of view is that actually you caught me with something second point of view is that i really like the fact that you are doing the examples yourself this is one of the goals of my channel i i want you guys to to really uh try to recreate your own examples and not only run the uh, applications from um, from uh, my uh, videos but try to just write your own examples in this way you will get into uh, some uh, some questions and this is exactly what's happening and this is really really good because all of us will have to 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 learn from uh, from your questions and um, that's uh, even um, one of the best things that can happen with uh, with this kind of uh, of lessons that to, I, I try to do here so thank you so very much for asking this question this is a really good question so why does it happen that the application is still working if i don't specify at all the add configuration here is the add configuration annotation optional that is actually i think the question from what i understood at at least from from uh, your um, uh, message and the answer is no the add configuration is not optional something else is happening here if you will try to simply comment out the entire bin definition here or even you will try to even delete completely the uh, package and still have no configuration at all so the jdbc template bin is not configured at all by you now you will still be able to run and use the application so it is not yet configuration the problem here that's something not mandatory when you have a configuration class so when you have a configuration class you always have to specify the add configuration annotation above the class otherwise this will not work but what happens in this case is that you know in in my lesson i have explained that the data source bin the data source bin is automatically configured by spring boot and the reason for that was the fact that in the application properties file i have declared these properties based on which the spring boot framework will know to configure the bin automatically and that also happens because of the fact that i have added the dependency for the database in my application but what happens and i'm not sure if this is related to one of the newest versions of spring boot or it might be that it's there for a long time and i haven't seen it but it seems that also the jdbc template is declared automatically in the context so again it might be that is, is this functionality is there for a long time and I, I didn't know it and I haven't seen it because maybe I didn't use it uh, enough. I, I'm still using a lot of JPA in my applications and maybe I, I, that, that's the reason I didn't, I didn't see it or maybe it's here for, for a short time and I, I didn't uh, um, notice the change. But it seems that at least, and that's a fact, in the version that I, I was using here in the video for the lesson, which is 2.6.0, I think, or something like this. Oh, sorry, 2.1.6. Uh, in, uh, in this version, automatically Spring Boot also configures the JDBC template bin based on the data source. So the fact that I was creating it myself in the configuration is not wrong the same thing i could have done with the data source as i have explained in the lesson so I, I could have just created my own data source that's not wrong you have the option to simply uh, specify um, as i've done the properties in the in the application properties file and then uh, spring boot automatically will configure a data source for you or you can just go uh, by yourself and uh, similar to the way I have done that in previous uh, ex examples with Spring Framework, with Vanilla Spring Framework, you can create a data source yourself. 
and it seems that the JDBC template view is actually the same thing. It, it's automatically configured based on the current data source. And then that's also related with the same dependency that I have added here. So the fact that I have added the Spring Boot Starter JDBC dependency is the reason for why this happens. So now we all know that uh, if you uh, don't configure um, yourself the um, uh, JDBC template, then a JDBC template will be provided by Spring Boot based on the current data source. And uh, we, we all know now that you can use this feature of Spring Boot instead of just going and creating the configuration class. So uh, this, this is something that I, I didn't explain and, and I wasn't aware until I have found your question. Thank you so very much for adding this question. We will all of us learn from, from your question and uh, keep on going uh, on creating and recreating the examples from, uh, from uh, my uh, lessons. This really helps into finding this, ki this kind of cases that maybe we are not aware of them or maybe I'm not aware of them and I, I, didn't, um, uh, I didn't show them because maybe I didn't know them or maybe I didn't, uh, I didn't realize they, they are needed. So just, uh, just do that in the future as well. Ask more questions and I will, I will try to, uh, to create separate videos to answer these questions and for sure we all have to win from this. Thank you very much again and I, I hope this answers your, your questions and stay tuned, tuned for the next videos.